Hello everyone, this is Nipur Aphrodite and welcome back to my channel and today we are flying a JF-17 Thunderbolt 1 aircraft of Pakistani Air Force and today I'm going to explain it to you the EFIS, Electronic Flight Instrument System of the JF-17 Thunder It's going to be a very brief video about this aircraft but before I can explain it to you about the EFIS I'm going to tell you the general characteristics of this fighter. The JF-17 Thunder of Pakistani Air Force is an all-weather day and night multi-role lightweight fighter bomber. This aircraft has a unique capability. It is very agile. It has got a very good fire control radar, KLG-7 version 1. It can engage two targets simultaneously and it's a very nimble fighter. Okay. So let's jump back to the EFI, yes, Electronic Flight Instrument System. As you can hear, see here on the left side of the MFD, this is the EFI, yes, Electronic Flight Instrument System. Here, this is the alt speed scale, this is the speed indicator, this is the altitude scale, this is the altitude indicator, this is the angle of attack, maybe angle which this aircraft is at the moment orders or uh, no no sorry this is the rate of climb at the moment here is the uh, uh, instrument landing system and here is I don't know why this function works or not here is the bearing the heading of the scale and the heading indicator this blue line and the, uh, these lines and the blue uh, background shows that the aircraft is climbing and the brown line a brown background and line show the aircraft is descending this scale shows that the aircraft is still at the particular degree if I turn this in the aircraft the aircraft this arrow is going to move in the direction where the aircraft is so it is going to show that the aircraft is maneuvering to turn on this EFIS what the pilot has to do is turn this on shars let me turn on the lights so that the viewers can see it correctly yes turn on and the align the EFIS the pilots need to turn on the shards on then the INS when the INS turns on there is a display but we have to enter the longitude the latitude the longitude the latitude uh, the uh, altitude and the heading then what the pilot has to do is turn on this navigation and turn this to fast and wait for 40 seconds unless the, uh, uh, the uh, uh, inertial navigation system gets aligned once it is aligned it is going to blink and then the pilot has to switch to this INS navigation and then the pilot can see this view of EFIS electronic flight instrument system it gets aligned this option over here it shows the ILS instrument planning system if I turn this on then these lines are will be used to show the glide path to the aircraft to the runway and the aircraft can use the ILS to run, uh, land on the runway accurately here there's another option norm and backup I don't know but it doesn't work at the moment so in brief uh, uh, introduction of EIS EFIS, this is how EF, what EFIS, and this is how it works. Thank you very much, and do like my videos, share my videos, I'll come back with more videos. Thank you.